Hi ladies, it's Valerie. I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming to you um, in the middle of my, I guess, 21st week technically. I am 20 weeks and five days today. Um, I wanted to come on because I'm excited, but I'm also, um, well, I'll just, I'll just tell you my experience. So, uh, excuse this hair. Um, I'm in my car. It's on my lunch break. Um, so last Monday we had our hospital tour with the practice that we're currently with. Um, now we're in a practice that has doctors, uh, OBs and, uh, midwives, and we have not met with any of the midwives yet, but, um, I have had friends who have used them and they like, um, I think maybe like, I think there's four midwives and I think that they like two of them and the other two they really didn't care for. Um, and the doctors, I mean, the doctors are fine. I really have enjoyed, um, the doctor that we were with. He was the one who, um, you know, assisted us in what we needed, um, as far as getting pregnant was, uh, you know, with the medicines and with the testing and all of that. So, um, I have felt, uh, I don't know, uh, pretty comfortable. I, I will say that I've felt pretty comfortable at the practice. Um, however, I do not feel like the care has been incredibly um, personalized. Uh, it's a, it is a bigger practice and a lot, I mean, they get great reviews. They, um, you know, they really do. That's why we went with them in the first place and uh, why we went with the doctor that we did for our infertility treatment. So. Um, so I can't complain there at all. Uh, I will say that the, um, the nursing staff sometimes and one of their sonographers, um, I, you know, I don't really care for, um, however, you're not going to like everybody. So I just chalk it up to that. But, um, we, and also the billing, uh, department, which obviously nobody likes to have bills, but, um, the lady who has been, you know, she just hasn't been very helpful, um, or, you know, in providing knowledge for us. And so that has been, um, that's been a little bit of a frustration, especially because, um, having a baby is very expensive. And, um, so that's been a little challenging, but, you know, we were just kind of thinking, well, this is what we're, this is the best we got. This is, um, you know, uh, I mean, I guess the, just that, that that's the best, um, that we could do. Um, the hot, you know, the hospital has a newly renovated women's wing. Um, you know, we went and toured it. The tour, the guide of the tour was very personable. She had a great personality. She was very, very friendly and sweet, very outgoing. Um, the tour, I, I had been told by my, my boss actually, that Kenneth Stone, um, the hospital that we were going to be delivering at, that it had um, some birthing tubs. So I was really intrigued because I hadn't heard about that. So I was very excited um, at the possibility. Well, when we went on the tour with the new uh, wing, they um, they no longer have those. And the rooms are very small. And well, the labor and delivery rooms are bigger, but um, but all it is is, um, you know, the little bassinet uh, with, for the baby once they're born. Um, the bed, you know, the, the labor and delivery bed, which is, um, wider than the, than the other bed. My husband says that he remembers it being like, you know, he and I both could have fit on it if we needed to. Um, and there's, you know, an, an individual shower. You don't have to share, um, showers or anything like that or bathrooms. So, um, but, but again, there were no tubs. I mean, there was a tub in the bathroom with the shower, but it wasn't like a tub that you would want to you, or that you could even, I mean, as far as I'm 5'9", there's no way I could have comfortably sat in that tub, and I don't think it's even allowed. So, um, so I was, after the tour, and, and not much was really said about uh, labor um, and delivery on the tour. It was mainly just like, here are the facilities, you know, this is where you're going to go, this is, you know, um, where everything is type of thing, which I completely understand. Um, and I guess I should preface, uh, if you've watched some of my other vlogs, I think that I've made it clear that I really want to go as natural as possible with this birth and, um, you know, barring no, you know, any complications, uh, we really want to go as natural as possible. I do not want any sort of interventions or any sort of medications. I really want to do this naturally and I believe that my body can do it. We're taking the Bradley classes. Um, I really, really, really believe that we can do it as long as there aren't any other, um, you know, catastrophic complications or anything like that. So, 
Um, we are open-minded, however, we do want to have options. So at our Bradley class yesterday, I mentioned how, um, I guess, anxious I was about it after our tour. And, um, and honestly, after our tour, I just wanted to cry. I was so like, just, I was just so upset that they, that there really aren't any options other than, you know, sitting on this bed. I mean, you can bring your own medicine balls and I mean, whatever you want to bring like that. But, um, just the thought of being continuously monitored, um, if there is no reason, um, and having to be hooked up to the IV, if there's, you, I mean, I just, I guess I was more fearful of, um, being in a situation where I'm extremely vulnerable and my husband and I have never done this before and us being pressured into something, even though we are very well, um, researched and, um, you know, we're doing our, our homework, uh, it's still, when it comes down to it, I just didn't want to be pressured into things that are unnecessary simply for the sake of, um, them not having a natural mindset and them having, um, you know, just people go through the system all the time and that's the way it's done without any questions. Um, and I didn't want to also be labeled as uncooperative because we wanted to do it naturally. It's just amazing to me that, um, wanting to do birth naturally is such a foreign thing in our country. But, um, but anyway, so I had expressed our concerns uh, yesterday at our class and our uh, instructor was really, really helpful and very encouraging. Um, and she gave us um, a lot of recommendations um, to look at our options. So I made some phone calls today and I'm so relieved. We are actually, I'm really, really grateful because we're going to um, the other hospital. Um, it's farther away. It's probably about a good 24 miles, I think, from us, from our other hospital. Um, so it is, it is farther away, um, and it's in the city, but it does, um, offer a more natural approach. They have water birthing tubs. Um, the practice that she referred us to is, um, is all midwives who are licensed, um, who are independently licensed. So they're not working like our current practice. They're not working under the, you know, under the doctors and under the practice. They're actually, they have more, um, they have more leeway to do what they want to do and what they believe in. And they are affiliated with an OB who is uh, actually was voted one of the top uh, OBs in the in the country. So that really gives me a lot of peace, and I think it gives my husband a lot of peace because he's the one who really wants to um, be in that hospital setting, just in case. And I completely respect that and understand. Um, so I just wanted to come on and say that I'm very excited for this new tour tonight. Um, I'm hoping we make it on time. Um, because I get off work at 5.30 and the tour's at 6.30 and it's, you know, with traffic and everything, I'm a little worried. But um, I will be doing a review on that hospital tour. But I just wanted to come on and um, give you a little bit of hope if you are in a situation that you are not um, completely happy with. And I know I've said this before when I had to switch um, from the previous fertility person that we were seeing who wasn't really a fertility person. But um, I, I, in one way, I hate to be that person who's like, well, I'm switching doctors because I don't like this. But honestly, guys, it is, this is my, this is my time. This is my health care and I'm paying darn good money for it. So, um, and I'm going to be paying good money for it. So why not, you know, explore your options and do something you're completely comfortable with. It doesn't matter if you're already pregnant. I'm, you know, again, almost 21 weeks and the practice that I'm hoping to switch to, um, accepts transfers up to 36 weeks. So there's still plenty of time. And, um, as long as I can convince my husband, which he's already convinced on the midwife part. So I think that it's going to be great. And I just really hope that this, um, you know, the tour tonight is, uh, is informative and that it has the options that we're wanting. And, um, I, I just am very excited at the prospect. So I just wanted to come on and give a little bit of hope again to those of you who might be in a similar situation. Um, that, you know, shop around. Hopefully your insurance will be, I don't have the best insurance, but hopefully your insurance as well will be, um, you know, you'll be able to work with it and find something that works for you in your area. Even if it's a little farther, I'm willing to, to do that. So um, I'm excited to let you know what happens and I am just so grateful for this community and that's another vlog that I'll be doing very soon. All right. Thanks ladies. Have a good one. Bye.